And hello. Um, today we're having a look at another transport control with the SSL UF8. This time it's the Pisonus Vader port. Um, it's the cheapest in their line of um, uh, control surfaces. Um, and really we're just using transport features here and just checking that they're working okay with the uh, UF8. And uh, spoiler alert, um, if you don't want to watch the whole video, um, they, it does work quite well. Um, and the rest of the video I'm just going to demonstrate transport controls and a few other bits and pieces as well. So um, before we do that I'll just show you how I've got things set up. I've got the um, SSL UF8 set up on port 2 here using its own script and down here I've got the fader port on port 1 again using its own script and I've obviously got the output ports matching the input ports up here. And away we go. Um, if I bring up some windows in fact, I've got some of the windows mapped to these buttons. I can't remember which ones. There's a channel rack and a mixer. It's the mixer I was after. Um, is that the channel rack? Yes, let's get rid of the channel rack. Um, so straight in, let's look at... Um, oh, I, we're in pattern mode. I can switch across to song mode. And let's start the song playing. And straight away, you've got the meters in FL Studio and the, on the... Um, UF8 working just fine and I can pause at any point, start again, I can fast forward through the song, I can rewind through the song, I can stop and it will go back to the beginning or I think it will go back to the previous marker, I'm not sure about that, I think I observed that earlier on, but either way that's just fine. So everything we want from a transport controller it does and it does it well. If you've got transport controls set up on the UF8, and I haven't in the soft keys at the moment, you can also use those, um, and they'll work alongside um, without any without any problem. Um, now, there's a few bits and pieces that the fader port will do, which I will show you. But before I do, uh, my suggestion would be just use the fader port for transport controls. Do everything else on the UF8. Um, You've got full control of the UF8. I can go through here and I can select tracks. I can solo tracks. I can mute tracks. And interestingly, um, see I've got track four set up here. It's solo, that's reflected here as well. So I can take the solo off here if I want and I can, I can mute it from here. So I can do it either way. So functionality that's built into the fader port um, and you'll probably find with other doors you won't have lost the functionality that's already there um, so that's quite useful um, I've got a few other bits and pieces I can that's my favorite one changing the mix of colors uh, I can cycle through those um, but that's by the by what else can I show you that you might be oh um, banking I guess is the obvious one so we're currently on bank one I switch up, that's bank 2, tracks 9 to 16, 17 to 24, and so on. And I can quite happily just do that as per normal. Or I can flick individual channels like this. And you've got some control over here as well with this knob, depending on um, what's focused at the moment. So I think at the moment, um, it doesn't know what's window is currently focused. If I'm in the playlist, normally this will take me through the playlist. Um, but I have noticed that when I've got the UF8, I don't always get the exact functionality that I have if I don't have the UF8. Hence my advice, just we're, we're here to use a transport control. Um, let's just use the transport buttons over here, do everything else on the UF8, and uh, the train shall meet. Um, they do complement each other quite well. Um, other things I can show you, I guess all the functionality you'd expect. So, um, um, I'm not going to go try and go through all the functionality, but suffice to say, I've not found anything that um, isn't working as a result of, of having the transport control uh, in the MIDI setup as well. So, um, I guess with uh, the end of what I wanted to show you, um, I'll say thanks for your time. If you find it useful, please like the video um also if you found it really useful type um, i will be doing more uh, videos around the ufate and please
as well be. I seem to be Mr. Control Surface at the moment. Um, we started off, I'm waffling now so you can turn off. It started off, I was just actually evaluating control surfaces from, for my own purposes. And I seem to have ended up um, spending more time with control surfaces than I probably need to. Um, but that's another story. I quite enjoy it. I'm a programmer. My background is of programming. So I quite enjoy scripting the functionality in the different uh, control surfaces. And you saw some of it today. I, I only got this failure port today and I put in the um, colours and the windows. And I'll probably do a little bit more and then I'll release the script on the scripting form in uh, FL Studio. Um, I'll, I'll release it later on today and then I'll probably, um, hopefully if I get a bit of time, I'll improve on it later. Anyway, thanks very much for your time. Um, see you again.